assuming you're a duck hunter and already know the process involved but this is a jerk cord rig it's basically used for hunters to attract waterfowl or any other kind of duck into their area and help lure it in and you just kind of strap your decoys on to this bad boy and it'll help you put a little motion in the ocean anyways jumping into the carve here i just used maple uh, looking at it now, I'd probably want to use something that would be best utilized for outdoor use. So maybe something out of cedar or MDF to avoid wood movement over seasonal use. So with the design aspect, I just wanted to add a couple different birds and a nice scenic landscape that a duck hunter might see out in the environment. So I decided to go with local birds found in New York. Uh, that would be the two mallards at the top, along with the super rare pintail featured. Uh, and then I just kind of made a couple birds that would be open for interpretation, rather they be geese or other kind of birds roaming about. During the design aspect, I wanted to add a little depth into the piece and add some water ripples and some trees and a nice sunrise. Almost all of this carve was used via 90 degree V-bit V-carves. I used an eighth inch end mill to carve out the outside profile perimeter. If you're not as bougie as me and have a CNC, I would recommend maybe a jigsaw or a hole saw to get that profile for the half circles. Now, if you just wanted to go with a finish and actually utilize this in the field, I'd probably recommend black spray paint, uh, something to conceal it. But since this was a decor piece, I decided to channel my inner Bob Ross, break out the paintbrush and acrylic paint. During the design process after painting, I also did hit it with a clear coat of spray poly just to seal in the paint and then for the wood finish i actually broke out and used rubio monaco
looking at it here, this is my rendition of a pintail and the two mallards, along with open for interpretation geese or some other kind of bird. Checking out the front and back details, also adding in dowels for rigidity and strength. And then just going over some detail shots uh, and some close-ups. If you found any value in the video or enjoyed it, you know what to do. Cheers.